for some obvious reasons, NASA is gearing up to study the sun. Yeah, right. The April 8th total eclipses that reason. It's going to give them the perfect opportunity. So joining us now is senior science reporter Eric Hendrickson. Yeah, and so Eric, why is NASA needing to wait until the eclipse to study the sun? Oh, it's cool. It's a cool <laughs> reason. Really neat. So there are parts of the sun that we usually have a hard time seeing because, frankly, it's just too bright. During an eclipse, the brightest part of the sun is perfectly blocked out by the moon. So we're actually able to see the star's inner atmosphere. Pretty cool, right? Eclipses, however, are very rare. So scientists with NASA tell me to observe the atmosphere of the sun, they actually create a, get this, artificial eclipse. They do this by placing a very small disk on telescopes. Pretty simple, right? Now the disk has to be just the right size and the right distance from the sun. With a satellite, you can't get more than a couple feet away. With the moon being 240,000 miles away, that's a perfect way to look really, really close to the sun. Now, the atmosphere of the sun is actually hotter than the surface, but the surface is brighter. Just 1% of the sun is 4,000 times brighter than a full moon. And Earth is the only planet in our solar system that gets a total solar eclipse. It's, it's about the ratio of the moon's size to the sun's distance. And there's like a weird math thing that I honestly cannot explain. I don't understand it myself. <laughs> but there's a weird math equation plus the orbital paths of the Earth and the moon. They all kind of sync up. So we're allowed to get this total solar eclipse. But during those off times, they put it like a telescope. They'll put a little disk on it. Now, the disk has to be larger than the actual sun on those telescopes because of their risk of it moving and being slightly off can burn the telescope. Oh, yeah. So they actually have to adjust mm. that fake artificial eclipse to study the outside. So this allows us to see this little this section of the sun that's like that big between where that disk is and where the moon is that we usually don't get to look at. Wow, but it's that bright that it can burn through. Yeah, yeah. they have to be very, very careful. It's just like if you look at the sun and you'll get like a little black spot on your eyeball, telescopes, oh, same goodness. problem. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So don't be pointing your phone yeah. at that eclipse right. on April 8th because you're going to burn a little hole right or through that eyes. camera. Or your, or your eyes. Yes. Right. 